guys, my name is Kristen and I have lost 115 pounds using a ketogenic lifestyle. I have been doing keto for 15 months and I have lost all my weight using keto. Today I'm going to show you a Walmart grocery haul. I do all of my shopping at Walmart for the most part and that is because it's one, it's affordable and I can get the most keto products at Walmart. I live in Southern Maine. We don't have a lot of places around here to shop so sometimes I go to New Hampshire and I have found th through my shopping that um, I can get the most keto products at Walmart. I don't buy things that are specifically keto. They don't say keto on them. I buy a lot of meat, I buy cheese, I buy vegetables, I buy fruit and I can get that all at Walmart and it's affordable. I can't afford grass-fed, organic, all that fancy well, it's not fancy, it's just expensive, and it really adds up. And at this point in my life, I can't do it. I can't afford it. So I buy regular products in the regular section. I like to do these videos to show others that you can do keto and you don't have to spend a ton of money. But they're not, they don't say keto. It's beef, it's chicken, it's eggs, it's bacon, it's Brussels sprouts and, and raspberries and all of those things that are healthy for you and I just want to show you that that it can be done I have lost 115 pounds this way I want to lose another 59 pounds and I'm going to continue to use Walmart to do that I'm also going more carnivore this week I have only eaten beef and some dairy products because I feel the best and this is me keto is different for everyone for me I feel the best when I eat the least amount of carbs so i'm trying to keep my carbs under 10 carbs to up my game and get to wonderland so anyway if you like what you see please hit like subscribe and ring the bell that way you get notified when i upload thanks so much for watching and here's my keto haul oh i also take a walk and i show you the meatloaf that we make with all of the food that we bought all right thanks so much for watching bye all right everyone here is our weekly grocery haul from Walmart. I needed a bunch of pretty staple, a lot of staples actually. Um, we needed meat and cheese and just um, some fruit. And I am going to be doing mostly carnivore, but my son is low carb keto, so I get stuff for him too. So this is, every, we got a bunch of stuff, not just keto. But I put all the keto stuff over here and then the rest of the family will eat their non-keto foods. But this is, I will eat all of this stuff. So anyway, here we go. First off, I got some Jello as a sweet treat. Um, sometimes I just want something a little sweet. And this is only 10 calories. And I think it's, oh, it's falling out. It is zero carbs. Probably less than one carb. So that's good. We got some hot Jimmy Dean sausage. Jason's actually the cook. I'm not sure why he got this, but I'm sure it'll be good. Hearts of Romaine for um, salads or lettuce. I get this rice, veggies, cauliflower, flour, risotto medley. I love this. Um, and this has four total carbs and two daily fiber, so two net carbs for that. Um, Jason makes this wonderful keto meatloaf. It's dirty keto, but it's still keto. He uses either one of these packets or a couple of tablespoons of this to make it. And sometimes he'll put blocks of cheese in it too. We got lunch meat um, for the week for lunches. We get the low carb mission carb balance wraps. I got some cottage cheese. I like to get the um, good kind, but they didn't have that at Walmart. Um, I get the Faye 5%. Yogurt and this has really good keto macros. Um, I know a lot of people do low fat, but I do not. It's five total carbs for one serving, and then you're supposed to subtract the two for um, the culture. So that's good. I've already broken into the seriously sharp Vermont cheese. Um, this is one carb per serving. I had four of those. Um, I'm noticing a lot of new products that are say keto on them and um this actually has good macros for keto 
only two carbs and 15 grams of protein and 15 grams of fat. Um, I'm going to try this and uh, there are, like I said, there are a lot of things that say keto, but you need to be careful and look at them to see if they actually are keto because there have been some things where I've seen it says keto and then it's eight total carbs and that can add up really quickly. Um, I got some raspberries for my keto dessert, whipping cream for my dessert and jello. I got, um, a couple, how many? Lots of eggs, 18 eggs. Um, we got some sour cream. Daisy's our favorite. Here's some ground beef for the hamburgers and for meatloaf. Grated Parmesan, tomatoes, blueberries, strawberries. Those are all keto friendly. This Too Good yogurt, vanilla is my favorite. We eat a lot of yogurt in this house, so that's why you're seeing a lot of yogurt. We got Super Creamer. This is my favorite for my coffee. This has no carbs and three tablespoons is only 40 calories. You'll see that in a lot of my what I eat in the day. We got some sweet Italian sausage. The entire family will eat that together and I'll eat it too. Those have great macros. Um, my Jello, some queso. This is dirty keto, but I do like to put queso on top of meat sometimes. We got four and a half more pounds of ground beef for our burgers. It looks like Jason's gonna be making some sausages with ground pork, so that's probably what that's for. Um, we got some nice steaks for him to grill up. New York strips, uh, shrimp in the um, fish section that is really good with the rice um, veggies. Powery, that is my favorite flavor. Got a few of those. We got my coffee. I have two cups of coffee every morning, so we got that. Um, we got this Minute Maid sugar, zero sugar lemonade. It has one carb, but what I do is I only put a quarter of it in a huge cup and I water it down. And I also got some fruit punch. I'm not sure if I'll like it, but I'll drink it anyway. Um, we got some fully cooked black label bacon for me and Sam. Um, we all love our bacon and I still have a lot of bacon. So four of those. And then last, I got some bangs. If I'm gonna do a workout, I do like to have a bang. I try to not drink as many bangs as I did when I was working, but I really do like bang if I'm gonna take a walk. So anyway, that is what I have this week. Keto, this is all keto or low carb for the grocery haul. And we eat this all week and this is how I am losing my weight. So this is a meatloaf that Jason made. It's a three pound meatloaf. See how big it is compared to my hand? It will be delicious, but I wanted to show you this before we cut into it and then I'll show you a picture once he's done cutting. So good, say it again. The end's the best part. This is a keto meatloaf. Look at the steam coming out of that. Yum. I'm gonna have to weigh that. Is that hot? Ow. Woo, there it is. Meatloaf, keto meatloaf, yum. I'm gonna eat that up. So I'm closing out a three mile walk. Um, it's cold and dreary today, it's 45 degrees. Right now, I think I'm soaked, but I really needed to get a walk in um, because it just makes me feel so good. And yeah, I don't, I, people keep asking me, do you exercise? Like they want to know you've lost 115 pounds. How much exercise have you done with 150 pounds loss? And all I've done all I've done is I've walked. I don't do a bunch of exercise because I can't, it's just too much. So anyway, I just wanted to let you know, let me flip this around so you can see me soaking wet. So I'm 
So here I am soaking wet, finishing up my three mile walk. It's still gorgeous. I mean, even though it's raining and drizzly, it's still gorgeous. But yeah, so I took a three mile walk. I'm gonna head home, it's tough. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done